Okay, so today's word is fowl. Um, so we're talking about birds and birds and chickens and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> um, it's going to be a, a feathery something. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure even where to start, to be honest, but... Um, Let's start with some kind of with some kind of crazy eye, because birds have some crazy eyes, don't they? They often have some weirdness about them. <clears throat> Let's. Get in there and draw a couple of weird bird eyes. I'm not sure what the oh, strange place to start. Right in the middle of a drawing. Never start right in the middle of a drawing. There you go. Lesson number one. That's today's lesson. Do not draw in the middle of your picture unless you know exactly what's happening and what you're doing, which I clearly don't. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. Or I've done it off to a side somewhere. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get some kind of weird, freaky bird thing going on here. Some weird, freaky bird thing. So we're going to do some kind of, hmm, strange face, but strange is usually a good start, isn't it? tongue. I don't know if birds have a pointy tongue, but it seems to work in this drawing. Pointy tongue bird. Hmm. Okay. So let's try and get something going in there. Shading inside the mouth so that it all kind of stands out a little bit clearer. It's kind of wild and wild and crazy. There's lots of wild feathers on its head. Just to kind of give it that nice crazy bird feel to him. Hopefully by now you'll have seen some of my other drawings and um, seen what kind of things I do. If you haven't, why not? <laughs> Get over there and watch some of my other drawings. Give me some some likes and some comments and be a bit more part of it. Go on. Obviously you have to finish watching this video first, otherwise you won't know. But just always always interested to get comments from people, so be a part of it. And there's the head of our first bird. I say first. 
I guess it's I'm, I guess I'm gonna try and do a couple of birds in here am I thank you brain my brain always seems to tell me last okay so I'm just gonna have a body over there I'm gonna have to give it a long A long kind of turkey neck to him. Makes him look like a real beast. So there's our crazy bird. With his crazy long neck. Yeah, you'll You'll have to tell me the name of this bird because, well, because I'm just making it up as I go along. So you'll have to kind of write to me and tell me what name, what, what are you going to name this bird that I've got going here? Let's get in some more, more feathers in around that. Give him a nice kind of feathery neck joint. Might be fun, won't it? Drawing all these feathers. I can't remember how many birds I've done on this in October, but it's been a few, I think. So there we have it. I kind of like the idea of this kind of kind of dodo effect that maybe he's um, he's kind of got very very small wings. I have no idea why he's got such small wings, but maybe because there's not much space at the top there. Let's just give him some wild feathery rings. Well, that's a really weird bird, isn't it? Have you come up with a name for him yet? So there's one wing. Cool. So we're gonna have to have some some legs. What kind of legs are we gonna have? Well if I have another bird there. <clears throat> that might be quite funny. Let's 
stupid long scraggly legs with big long scraggly toes. Just to make this bird very special. That's all the little bumps and lumps and textures on his feet. Lovely. coming in there well, that's some crazy feet on this bird isn't there So there we have the first bird. Let's see if I can squeeze in a second bird in there. And see if I had planned all this, then it would have been much easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's that's me for my um, free drawing kind of idea. Just draw from your mind, Kieran. It's all in there. <laughs> Really? Really? Well, I guess it is. It usually comes out quite okay. Let's get some some nice tail feathers. That's looking nice. That's looking quite cool and funky. Alright, so what am I going to do here? I'm going to throw another head <coughs> down here somewhere. Right. Have a nice big googly eye down here. his eyes he's looking up at this bird thinking what are you trying to do are you trying to jump me is that what you're trying to do you trying to jump me when I ain't looking Trying to have a similar style of bird, like they're, they're both fighting over the same girl or something, you know, it's like they kind of give them a reason to be fighting. They've obviously seen the same beautiful girl. They're both saying, hey, I wanted to. I wanted to be with her. And this guy said, no, a chance. So there he is coming in there. I've got to kind of draw this bird upside down a little bit. So it'll be funny to see when I turn him upside down what he actually looks like, but... Get 
some get some feather work around the top of his head there. A lot of ink on this one. So let's hope it's uh, let's hope it's a good one. When you see that the nib is starting to do lots of big regular blobs like that, that means the nib's kind of dying a little bit. Hopefully it will stay alive for the rest of this drawing, but that's usually a kind of a warning that things are dying away on it. So... Let's see if that works out nice. It's an interesting concept, isn't it? Fighting birds. Um, as usual, I'm using Indian ink on this. And as usual, I'm drawing from the south of England. It was a very lovely warm day today, which is a very unusual thing. Um, especially this time of year. And that's my dinner just popped. That kind of bang you heard or that pop you heard is my rice and my lovely rice cooker oh and I can smell it coming through there now too how oh, delicious so as soon as I finish drawing this I shall cook myself a lovely dinner I'm definitely a food person. I definitely love foods and different countries' foods and and home cooking. If you cook at home, <laughs> I will definitely eat it. I love, my daughter used to do lots of like home baking and she used to cook lots of like Korean food and Chinese food and and she used to bake amazing cakes and oh it's lovely so when my daughter comes to visit she usually brings some special food surprise she was working in a, a Japanese restaurant for a while and every time she would turn up she'd bring some sushi or something wow that was a fantastic time absolutely fantastic she also learned lots of things there how to prepare fish and so quite a talented little lady right so I'm gonna have to have another body there and let's 
just give him some little wings in the same style as the other one except this one I'm gonna make the wings even smaller I don't know why but I just kind of like the idea of him having these tiny little wings and a, such a big body I hope there's some 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 artists that are watching my videos and giving you know looking at my, what I'm doing and thinking give me some ideas some thoughts some some comments some some feedback would be lovely I used to love watching uh, other artists' videos of how they do their drawing and their drawing styles, and I used to love it. So hopefully these give some kind of enjoyment to to other people. But I will only know if you send me a comment and say, "Hey, I liked your video. It's a crazy drawing, but I liked." <laughs> <laughs> or something like that, you know. Let's bring his leg in there. So it looks like they are kind of like fighting a little bit. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Give this feeling that he's kind of bringing in his leg to to hit that one. He's coming down from the top to get that one. Makes it a little bit more dynamic if I bring it in like that, doesn't it? There's his leg coming in. Clawing away at each other. Dear, dear, dear. These are bad boys. Oh, there comes that leg. We'll hit the other leg. These fighting legs coming in. So, have you th have you th thought of a, a name for this bird yet? They kind of look very kind of dodo-ish. Dodos with. Um, like the Dodo's brother or something. Whew. He's in a real anger, isn't he? You can see how he's jumping around like that. I actually do a lot of um, illustrations for books. 
So if you uh, if you need an illustrator, give me a shout. Throw me buckets of money and um, let's do some fun together. Or even half a bucket of money. <laughs> Almost there, almost to the end of this one. Hopefully, <laughs> oh my God, that looks really crazy, doesn't it? That looks absolutely insane, really. <laughs> fighting birds so I hope I hope you enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed the, the fierce fighting of these two birds I hope so and that is today's drawing for fowl on ink October I would love to tell you what date is but I can't remember like day 10 or something and this lovely drawing was done by me here in Siemens I love scratching my name into it in the end and I would love to hear from you I would love to hear your comments about the drawings and anything Maybe tell me all about what you're drawing and I can go and have a look at that. I love artists. I love what they're doing and the crazier the better, really. So, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will pop over and have a look at some of my other videos I don't get many likes and comments I don't even know why I don't but um, and if you know why let me know and that is today's drawing and I'm very I'm kind of pleased with that that's kind of like two crazy birds fighting Fabulous. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for support. Thank you very much for just watching. It's a real pleasure. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.